Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with everyone my favorite cookie recipe which is the Mexican wedding cookie. In Spanish these are called polvorones and these are going to be the ingredients that we're going to need. We are going to need some unsalted butter, powdered sugar, some salt, vanilla extract, all-purpose flour, and some chopped pecans. We're also going to be using some measuring spoons and some measuring cups because when you're baking, you have to have the exact measurements. So let's go ahead and begin. First step is to preheat your oven to 350 and line two cookie sheets with parchment paper. I'm going to begin adding the butter into my bowl and these sticks of butter are unsalted butter and they have been out of the refrigerator for about an hour because anytime you bake you want to have your butter at room temperature. So go ahead and add the, the two sticks of butter into your bowl and if you don't have this type of mixing bowl that is totally okay. Uh, you can use your hand mixer or you can mix by hand using a wooden uh, spoon or or a spatula. Now I'm gonna be adding half a cup of sugar because remember we need one cup but half a cup goes into the mix and then the other half you're gonna be using it to powder your sugar I mean to powder your cookies once they are done. Okay so go ahead and add your powdered sugar to the mix and then we're also gonna be adding the salt at this point. So you want to add one quarter of a teaspoon of salt. If you don't have measuring spoons, then you can go ahead and add one pinch of salt. I am now going to mix the butter with the sugar and the salt and I'm going to do it at a low speed because you don't want it all over the counter and all over your face. So we're going to be mixing this for about two to three minutes until it gets fluffy. It's kind of like the consistency of buttercream. And next we're going to be adding the vanilla extract and we need two teaspoons of this. If you don't have a measuring spoon, you can use the cap of the bottle and that equals to a teaspoon. So make sure you add two of those. After you add the vanilla extract, we're going to be adding our flour. And for the flour, we are going to need one cup and three fourths of a cup of all purpose flour. Make sure that you are using the exact measurement because then your cookies will not come out as they are supposed to. Um, so go ahead and add your flour. I am using um, the King Arthur's brand but um, whatever flour you have, that will work as long as it's all-purpose flour. So once you add your flour, then you're gonna be adding your pecans and make sure that your pecans are chopped. Uh, if you have the whole ones, uh, just go ahead and chop them with a knife in a cutting board or you can always buy the chopped pecans. I bought the chopped and um, you want them in tiny little pieces because the cookies are small. 
and now you're going to mix everything together do a gentle mix for about two to three minutes at first it's going to look dry and sandy but once it starts mixing then it's going to start uh, forming and the dryness and the uh, sandy looking is going to go away then we're going to be able to start shaping our cookies And this is the consistency that you want. Uh, it should come together. It should form in a ball. I don't like to use my hands because sometimes, uh, depending on your hands, if you are, if you have warm hands, um, then the dough is going to become softer and it's more um, harder to work with. So I just leave it in the bowl um, or I put it on the counter and then I work from that, from my um, dough ball. And I'm just getting little pieces and forming my cookies. My first batch of cookies is going to be in the shape of a crescent, a little mini croissant, and I'm going to get about 15 cookies from this dough ball. So uh, what I do is that I grab a, a small portion of the dough and then I form the ball. Then after forming the ball, you're going to roll like you're going to do a stick. And if it's too big, just remove a little bit of the dough and um, and then just form it again and shape it like into a little U. These cookies don't expand a lot uh, because you we did not add any of the baking powder, but because it is the all-purpose flour, uh, sometimes it tends to have it in there and um, they are going to expand just a tiny little bit. So you don't have to leave a lot of space in between them and uh, just go ahead and repeat the process. And then my second batch will be the original Mexican wedding cookie, which is in the form of a ball.
and my next batch will be the original shape of the Mexican wedding cookie, which is a little ball. But when I form the ball with the palm of my hands, then I press a little tiny bit so it's not completely round. And to me, I think they bake faster and they bake uh, evenly if I do this. And here are my cookies. They are ready to go into the oven and I have a total of 30. Bake for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, my cookies are ready and now I'm gonna let them cool for about 10 minutes. After your cookies are completely cooled, we are now ready to start dusting them with powdered sugar. So you're going to place the other half a cup of sugar into a bowl and then we're going to begin dusting one by one. And these cookies are ready to enjoy. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate every single one of you. Please don't forget to leave any comments or questions. Um, if you make these cookies, I would love to hear back from you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoy this recipe. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you on my next one. Goodbye.